Hello, this is Pearls on Tuesday, where we aim to create and celebrate the beauty of everyday moments in extraordinary ways. Today, I'm going to take you on an outdoor spring tour. I apologize for that. I live on a busy suburban street here in Eastern Virginia, and for a, the first few minutes, we're probably going to hear some traffic. This is the front of our house. This long brick wall goes all the way down the street where I live. It was put in by the builder. And this is my home. My husband does a really great job of taking care of our grass and it looks great right now. We do not have a sprinkler system, so as soon as the weather warms a little, uh, it's going to get a little more dry. But right now it looks really nice. Here are my two little boxwoods. They've been with me for one year now, and they're coming along great. This is a hybrid magnolia tree. It is not blooming right now. But when it does, the fragrance is gorgeous. Our home has a basement, which is a little unusual for this part of Virginia. So this sloping part of the front yard here is planted with ivy and vinca and it helps to keep the soil in place on this slope. We try and keep the front flower beds fairly simple with the exception of having to trim the bushes. Um, the hybrid gardenia on the end is not blooming yet but the Japanese hollies and the, the kuba tree that you can see is doing pretty well. So the front flower beds are pretty ordinary. I love this little vignette. I have a concrete bunny that is very sweet. And right now a pot of beautiful pansies and some ivy with some autumn sedum in the background. And here are some amaryllis bulbs that come back every year. Those were gifts from an aunt and a brother-in-law. There's another big patch back here and they are so beautiful when they do bloom later in the summer. Over in the corner here is Dolly Dogwood. If you watched my uh, Legend of the Dogwood video, this was Dolly when she was in full bloom. She is a white dogwood. My husband and I planted her about 10 years ago. But what I wanted to show you, my husband does a great job on the bushes. I wanted to show you this beautiful statue of the Virgin Mary that watches over our home. It belonged to my grandmother. And I enjoy giving her a home in my garden. We're going to walk now across the front yard over to the garden we put in beside our driveway. There is a ditch and then a little forest area beside the fence. And several years ago, my husband and I decided to do some planting here beside the driveway. And we really enjoy it. So we're going to start way up at the front with these bearded iris. When my grandmother passed away and we sold her home, I transplanted these irises from her garden. 
and she had taken them from her mother's yard. And so I enjoy watching them bloom every year. There is a little cypress tree down there and some blooming woody violas, an azalea that has already bloomed out, and this little Nandina tree is coming along beautifully. I took a shoot of a mag uh, Nandina tree from a hospital where I do some volunteer work, brought it home, and was able to get it to catch on and now it is really beginning to fill out. Here is some sedum ground cover, some more of those woody violets. I have a hydrangea in the background. It was blue when I planted it. We'll see what the soil does with the color this year. An akuba. And here is some beautiful phlox that is in full bloom. Some coral bells. Some more sedum. And one of my balsam trees. We planted these when they were just little babies. And they seem to be happy where they are. This year, I put in some allium bulbs and three of them bloomed. This is the baby of the group, but I love that purple sphere and having them right in the front of the garden. Have a little bit of mum coming up here, some rosemary, another hydrangea in the background, a rose bush that was a Mother's Day gift several years ago with beautiful pink blossoms. And down here, some gorgeous lamb's ear. I love the feel of this lamb's ear. I have some peonies trying to bloom back there, hopefully. And in that pot, I have some large dahlias that are just beginning to sprout up. Another view of those alliums down this end. And along the fence here is wisteria. And over the years, we have wound it in. It isn't quite blooming yet, but I love the way it drapes across the fence and gives us a little little bit of background. It's a little topiary. I have some black-eyed Susans that are just coming up. Some more ground cover. There's some uh, creeping Jenny and an azalea still in bloom. Some Asta coming up my bigger balsam tree. And I'll give you a shot of this wall. Remember I said we have a basement and have that ground cover planted there. This is a brick wall that keeps that soil, that ledge in place. This is one of my hydrangeas that's coming out. And I love this creeping thyme. This time of year, it puts out the most beautiful purple mini flowers, which are so nice. A little ligustrum that I'm kind of training And last but not least, this poor little ewe. I rescued it. I thought it was a goner, 
but it's putting out new growth. I haven't trimmed it or shaped it. I'm trying to let it get happy with where it is. And I think we have made it. So that is an overview of my front and side yard. We are now moving toward the backyard. I am a wine lover and one birthday my husband ordered this wine barrel from a local winery as a gift and I use it as a picnic table or not a picnic table but just a table here outside and I have an evergreen on it another little evergreen that I have growing this is just a little rocky garden area. I have some ground cover growing in there. Some daylilies about to come out. And here is a St. Francis statue that belonged to my grandmother. I love to have that. There are a row of rose bushes that are going to bloom sometime soon, but just not yet. This little whirly gig here turns in both directions with the wind and at night it has solar lights it is really beautiful it was a gift from my mother-in-law so here we are at the back fence and we're going to go on through into the backyard up these steps this is some forsythia when it's blooming a nice big camellia tree and a view of the backyard again thank you hubs for keeping the grass looking so nice we planted this row of boxwoods that go all around our patio and we try our best to keep those trimmed I have two large bird feeders. Well, one's a bird feeder, the other is a nesting box. In the taller one, in the nesting box, we have a family of bluebirds that had three clutches in there last year. And they are back. So we're entering the patio. And the first thing we see here is a beautiful concrete statue a collection of shells. We are beach lovers and spend a lot of time at the beach. So I have a nice collection of shells. And this is my moss garden. I collect moss just about everywhere I go and propagate it in here. Some of this is from Central Park Charlottesville, Richmond, various places where I find a patch. And so far it is doing really well and spreading out. So I enjoy working with moss. Here is our bird bath that our birds love to take a shower in or a bath, I should say some more coral bells, a nice big pasta that comes back each year. And this is a vintage urn. I trained some English ivy in a circle. The head that's sitting inside has some lamb's ear in it. And there is a little bit of mum coming up, chrysanthemum, but I especially love that planter. This is something interesting I found riding on the beach in North Carolina last uh, weekend in Oregon Inlet. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. It's dried wood, so it's, it's just sitting there. 
This was one of the leftover living Easter baskets that I did, and my nanny loved cardinals. We have a lot of cardinals in our yard. That was that plaque was a gift from my parents. Another little topiary. I really love topiaries. My Boston fern came out of the garage and is just starting to come to life again. And this peony plant is going to bloom very, very soon. I am looking forward to seeing my first beautiful peony bloom. This is some Rose of Sharon plant and some Vinca blooming there. And on the buffet here, I have a couple of little topiaries on the ends. I found those um, growing rogue in one of the flower beds and have kind of babied them and urged them along. The tall one in the middle is Eugenia. I did purchase that one, but I do try to keep it nice and trimmed. And then on the table here, we have two containers of Mondo grass and some ground cover and some rogue columbine, purple columbine that is blooming out in the middle. I did not plant that there. It just started growing, but I like it and it's happy and I'm gonna leave it there. Little lemon cypress, another topiary that I started from a tiny, tiny little sprig and in this potager garden, I have some lavender blooming. This is coming back from last year, doing really well. Here are a couple little topiaries in the back that I'm just now starting. Some mums. And these are not weeds. I am starting some marigolds. And here are some tomato plants that I put in. And this side is a little herb garden. I see parsley, thyme, oregano, basil, rosemary, and mint. These are going to be Shasta daisies here. There's my kitty cat, Maybelline Grace, looking out the door. These are going to be lilies. They are going to bloom in the next week or so. Some more of these irises that I transplanted from my nanny's yard. And here are some of my Gerber daisies that come back every year. I have one bloom so far. I think there's another one down in there somewhere. There it is hiding. Let's see if we can see it. Right down in there. And some yarrow here in this pot. Have some clematis climbing up. My father built this beautiful trellis for me for my birthday two years ago. And I planted wisteria alongside both ends and it is blooming again this year and is really beautiful. So I love my trellis. I love my wisteria. It has beautiful purple flowers, a little hanging basket there, some more autumn sedum, 
little bit of clover and salvia, little mondo grass and autumn sedum, a little nandina tree, and some more ground cover. And one more Boston fern that is trying to come back to life. And my little ladies with all kinds of ground cover growing out of their heads. Entering my porch to go up into my house, I love this topiary I started two summers ago and it has grown up and there is a heart at the top. I need to trim it so that the middle of the heart isn't filled in, but I really love that chalkboard my children gave me last year. And then I have this vintage wicker planter with violas and arborvita and this planter with some fire mountain pyrus and some wire leaf vine and so that is the backyard in spring. I hope you enjoyed it.